Hello and welcome to interest.co.nz. I'm Gareth Vaughan with 90 at 9. With news this morning that global share markets rose to five-year highs last night, US Treasuries fell and US oil futures dropped below $100 a barrel. This all came after... Uh, news that the US Federal Reserve may not start tapering its massive quantitative easing or monthly $85 billion asset buying program because the recent government shutdown has left the economic picture in the world's biggest economy unclear. The shutdown has delayed various economic releases. And on top of this, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans has told CNBC that the Fed needs a couple of good labour reports and evidence of increasing GDP growth. Evans said this would probably take a few months to filter through. Meanwhile, Reuters expects US non-farm payrolls data, which has been delayed uh, for September and and is now due out tonight, New Zealand time, to show jobs growth of around 180,000 and an unemployment rate steady at 7.3%. And sales of existing US homes fell in September for the first time in three months. The US National Association of Realtors said home sales fell 1.9% to an annual rate of 5.29 million units from 5.39 million in August, which was the strongest since 2009. The next Federal Open Market Committee meeting, where we'll get some, I guess, more harder hints at when tapering will be brought to an end, perhaps, is scheduled for next week. There's also fresh news on the LIBOR manipulation scandal this morning. British prosecutors have identified 22 individuals across various banks as potential co-conspirators in an inquiry into the manipulation of global benchmark interest rates. The individuals were notified last week by Britain's serious fraud office that they were being investigated. And Reuters is also reporting that Deutsche Bank has summoned about 50 of its staff for questioning about possible LIBOR manipulation. I'm Gareth Vaughan at interest.co.nz and that's 90 at 9.